What is going on, YouTube fam? <clears throat> What's going on, YouTube? What's cracking, YouTube fam? What's up, YouTube fam? What's up, YouTube fam? You know how's it going? You should know the whole adventure video, you know what I'm saying? You might enjoy it, maybe not. If you don't like it, I might pay you a visit later, I don't know. Maybe we should go for like a husky, lusty intro. <clears throat> What's going on, YouTube fam? Micah here shooting another high adventure video. It's not the content you want, but it's the content you need. Yeah, that's right, baby. Oh, jeez, probably not. Probably not. High adventure videos always on the go. Every time I turn around, I got another show. At the river till about three in the morning. <laughs> oh, probably not that one either. <laughs> Maybe though, I don't know. <sighs> okay, for real this time. What's going on, YouTube fam? Micah here shooting another high adventure video. Driving through the mountains, heading to the frozen lake. That actually wasn't bad. I have somebody riding me. Jeez, why don't you just hook up to my bumper and I'll tow you on the way up. Good grief. Anywho, as I was saying, heading up to the frozen lake. Gonna do a little ice fishing. So actually at this reservoir that we're heading to, the state record perch was caught out of it. So that's pretty cool. In fact, there's a bounty out uh, for the next state record. We're gonna stop at the uh, one of the local tackle shops and uh, get some advice before we hit the frozen tundra. And maybe we'll tow a few of these vehicles up behind me. I don't know. Guys, I'm, I'm stuck behind a car just like you guys. I can't go any faster. I've got a long windy drive ahead of me, so I will catch you guys at the first stop. All right, we are at the Cougar Mountain Lodge. We're gonna go in and get a hot chocolate. Ah, prime rib on Saturdays. So the open sign is not on. This sign says, yes, we're open. Okay, so check this out. Fall winter hours, Friday through Monday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But we're closed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, today is Wednesday, so okay. No hot chocolate for you. Open Monday through Friday, but closed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh, podunk town. Oh well, we'll just have to drive up. We're almost there anyway. Tackle Toms. They could have been here forever, I think. Oh, there you go, new record. Tackle Toms. Is this a thousand dollar award? I think they've upped that though. We'll ask them. Hey, how's it going? Doing good, how are you? I am fantastic. Do you guys have a map of the lake here? Yeah. This is a freaky map. Oh, hey, I like that. So I do know a lot of people will fish this area, but I'm thinking about moving a little bit further up in and trying that, but he's saying that a lot of guys fish that area anyway, so might have to do something different. All right, at our hotel. This place is pretty cool. It's actually like old fashioned. Check out this inside. This is pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is awesome. Check that out. How are you doing? I'm doing better than I deserve. <laughs> Let's see what this room looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a fireplace here. There we go, check that out. All right, what do we got for literature up here? We got The Ladies of Missolongi, Journey into Fear, McNally's Caper, and Reader's Digest. Wow, got some real heavy stuff there. I think I'll pass for now. We've got both our maps out. All this green, you can see here, those are submerged weed beds. I like that. Got a couple little islands right over here. What's this gonna be between Duck Creek, Gibson Creek. Now this looks interesting right here. Look at this weed, weed patch. This comes out 15 feet. It's almost like a, a massive point right here that comes out. Look at all these creeks, French Creek, Van Wick Creek, Silver Creek, Deer Creek, Herd Creek, Gibson Creek. 
Cooped Up Creek, Poison Creek, Creeks for Days, <laughs> Hot Springs Creek, Grandma's Creek. Look, there's Grandma's Creek. That's where Grandma had her creek. Wow. Okay, guys, check this out. I just discovered the best feature of the entire hotel. Look at this. <gasps> Bathrooms. Zoink. I got two of them, too. I get one for each night I'm here. Awesome. Nothing like the hotel bathrobe. I am wrapped in the warmth of a thousand bodies before me. Okay, I'm gonna catch some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning and then let's get fishing. <sighs> Rise and shine, it's ice fishing time. Okay guys, check this out. I didn't notice this last night, but look who was standing guard outside my door. Kind of cool, kind of creepy. As long as you stay out in the hallway, buddy, we're good. A little bit of snow coming down, got about a half an inch. It's not supposed to snow a lot, so hopefully, uh, hopefully this is kind of it for the day. All right, here. It's gorgeous out, just light snow coming down, absolutely no wind. Hopefully that stays that way, knock on wood. All right, we are on our way. My legs are gonna be swole by the end of the day. Fortunately, once I get to the reservoir, we're pretty much right there. So picked out my spot that I want to go to on the map last night. Let's see if it pays off. So this auger is actually powered by propane. And I, for one, had never heard of that before. That's how new I am to the ice fishing game. Sweet, all right, let's fire this bad boy up. So we're gonna turn it on lightly. Look at that. All right. If that snow keeps coming down, I'm gonna definitely have to set the tent up. Getting all, everything snowy. It wasn't even like, there's like a 30% chance of snow today. And of course now it's like snowing like a banshee. Okay, so these tip ups that I made, they're actually really easy to make. That wood's about 14 inches long. Cause I carved little notches. Okay, that's a massive notch. I'm not, I am not a carpenter by any means. Um, but I carved little notches in them. So then your line, every time you wrap it around the wood, is about one foot long. So when you're unraveling the line, you can you can measure how many feet you're dropping it down in the hole. We're gonna just drop it down. Got a little worm on a red-headed jig for this one. Okay, so we're right there. Now I'm gonna just, I want like a foot off the bottom. So I'm gonna one, maybe about two feet. Right there, just like that. I'm gonna have a nice flat surface. And I'm gonna set this guy. I'll set them just like this. I wrap this line around the wire tip here. So we get a bite and it'll go ding, like that. So pretty cool, pretty foxy, pretty simple. But uh, that's a cheap way of making your own pop-up. Costs you maybe, takes you about 10 minutes worth of time and maybe, I don't know, two bucks. Two bucks of materials. So pretty cheap. On this one, I've got a little night crawler and a little, uh, pink glow in the dark jig. Give that a try here. So I've got a clam ice sniper. This is the rod I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna go with some pretty aggressive orange gulp. Two inch minnows. Kinda going that orange, going that perch color. I mean, it's really aggressive perch color, but we'll see. I'm gonna kind of experiment out. I got a white jig head here. I'm only gonna do three holes for now. I'm gonna kinda see what's going on. I don't wanna get too aggressive with the drilling if I'm not catching anything. Here we go. Oh, mighty Vexlar. What do your elvish eyes see? We're at seven feet. And every time I jig this, I can see a little red green line of my jig popping up and down, up and down. And uh, what I'm looking for is a green line on the bottom to start rising up to it. That's gonna be a fish. Now we patiently wait. Oh, got him, got him. Whoa, 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 man, that hit good. We got one, guys. Look at that. Ooh, look at that rod. Come on. Whoa. This might be a trout, the way it's fighting. If this is a perch, it's a good perch. Sweet. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh it's a big, oh no, it just came off. Oh, oh, that was a big perch. Oh, oh my heavens. Oh, that was a jumbo perch. Oh my gosh. He tore that thing up. That's gone. 
Oh, he didn't indicate on uh, the Vexar. He was just all of a sudden there. It was just bam. I felt the bite before I even saw him on the screen. So he came over and, and, and pounced on it. That was a guy. That was that was a big perch. That was probably I don't I got a glimpse of him, but that that was 14 plus inches. Oh man, to lose him right at the hole. That's the home of the goose. There's one. Got him. Got him. I saw him rise up to it. Saw him rise up to it. Ooh, this is another perch. It's gonna be a good perch. This guy over here. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, big old perch. Look at this. Look at this tubby. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Ooh. That's a porker. That's a plump piggy. That would have been the second fish out of this hole. I think this guy's gonna get the tent right here. Look at that. Not um, not massive, but I mean that's that's a good perch. That's that's probably about 12 and a half inches right there. I've caught bigger, but that's a solid solid fish. That's bigger than your average Joe perch for sure. I mean, most perch you're gonna get are probably between about six to eight inches. So you get something that's 12 plus inches long, you're in business. We are gonna eat us some perch out on the ice, guys. Nice, nice ice, 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 baby. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Got him. Oh yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got him. This is a big fish. This might be a trout. This might be a trout. Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a big old trout. Yes! The tip up worked. The only problem with this is you kind of have to hand line him in. Oh yeah, this is definitely a trout. Just saw him. Yeah, come on. This feels like a solid trout too. I saw my fly, I was like, beep, just a little bit. And then all of a sudden you guys saw that, it kind of took off. Come on. I've got them all. Oh, it's a big old rainbow. Look at this. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Holy cow. Look at that. He choked that thing down. Guys, this is like a two and a half pound rainbow trout. Holy McNuggets. Whoa, we gonna be eating good today. That's a pretty fish. Let's see, where'd he go? Oh man, he choked that sucker. I'll still be able to get it out, but look at that. That is a 20 inch rainbow all day. Probably a good two and a half pounds. Whoa, now things are heating up. I need to get this tent set up. Oh man, we got a good spot here, guys. We got a good spot here. There we go, jig pops out. <laughs> oh yeah, add that to the feast we're gonna have today. Look at this, big rainbow, big perch. Guys, we're in business now, we're in a honey hole. Took us a while to find it. I wandered this ice for about 45 minutes this morning, but uh, it's paying off, it's paying off. Let's get these back down there. Tip up back in place, ready to go. So far, let's see, that's seven feet and six feet where we've been getting the fish. So that one's out in 13 over there. We might end up uh, bringing that over. Guys, 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 this tip-up just went up again. I just put it back down. Got him. We got another one. Oh yeah, he's on, he's on. This is, either this is a big old perch, or no, another big trout. Another big old trout. Holy cow. Guys, I mean, like, like two minutes later, I just got set back up over there jigging my own hole. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, that's the one thing you gotta hand line fish them when you do this tip up like this. Holy cow. Another big old rainbow. Look at this, look at this guy. Barely hook, barely hook. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, uh -oh. Come on. Uh, get out of that, yeah! That was tedious, look at this. Look at that, that's like another that's like another 20 plus inches, two and a half pounds. Holy cow, whoop, whoop, whoop. That is a lot of trout. Oh, just through the hook, just through the hook. You're a lucky fish today. We're gonna let this one go because I've already got a big trout and a big perch. I don't need any more than that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop you back down. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, look at that. There we go. There we go. Nice, guys. Sweet. That is what I'm talking about. Set that there. Let's get our tent set up. I'm going to get out of the cold. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to do much, but let's get out of the snow. Good, man. How are you doing? Oh, not bad. How'd it go? Well, it was pretty good this morning. Nice. Yeah, I got out this morning and was like, well, it's snow. Oh, I'm missing one here. Yeah. Hopefully, you can go back in there and uh, produce. Heck yeah. Nice. You from around here? Uh, you know, I'm from Boise, actually. Yeah. Awesome. Um, what channel do you do? Check that out, guys. Probably about 16 inches. Right as I was uh, trying to get my tent set up. Had that same flag go off. That's three out of that same hole. We'll drop her back in though. I don't need that much trout. It's a nice fish though. Sweet. Come check out my humble abode. I think I got like the six person tent. Uh, yeah, I went big. Go big or go home, right? I mean, this thing's like a hotel. Or at the very least, like a motel. Holiday Inn. Okay, enough of that. Come on inside. Got a hole there. I built another hole there in the corner. I've got a little cook stove here. So we can cook some food at. Got my little Eskimo seat here that I decided to pull out. Now one thing I will do, I still have my tip-ups out there. But I can actually see them through the window. And through right here. So, we'll keep an eye on them from the comfort of our tent. Woo, I'm not gonna lie, getting out of like the little bit of breeze and the snow and everything in here, this is really nice. I'm glad I got the big one. I think it's time to go ahead, get a little soup going. It's right in the afternoon. Sometimes that bite can slow down a little bit in the afternoon. There we go. One important thing to remember is when you have like propane and stuff going on in the tent, make sure you've got, uh, good ventilation going so I've got that flap open got this one cracked as well just so then you don't have any accidents with the gas leaking out into your tent and the next thing you know you fall asleep and you never wake up don't want to do that I've got some chicken with white wild rice soup work with me here there we go well, that heated up in no time. So if you guys like anything in the video, either comment below if you need links to anything, and uh, you should find most of what you see in this video in the links in the description. That's yeah, really good. Oh, we got a tip up down. It's this guy. Oh, shoot, I don't know. I don't feel anything. Let's see, let's see, let's go. We still got worm. Dang it. That flag was up. It's it's almost 3.30 now, so we're starting to head into the later part of the day. A couple hours of light left. Finally, after three hours, get a little action here. Decided we're gonna go ahead and clean this guy up. Eat a little perch while we're out here. There we go, a little butter. Let's take these, rinse them off a little bit. Drop them in, enough for a little morsel. I've got this Johnny Seafood seasoning. I'll put a little of that on there. There we go. Oh yeah, nice thing about perch, it doesn't take long to cook, it's so small. Maybe the smell of freshly cooked perch will move the perch in. Perch are cannibals, they eat each other. Maybe they'll smell a little Johnny seafood seasoning perch in butter and be like that gum We're heading in for that Perch one of my favorites big ol' Bite of fresh steaming perch there Perch one of my all-time favorite freshwater fish. They're right up there with walleye. Mmm. That's so good. I kind of just ditched the fork To heck with formalities here Well guys Tent is torn down for the day. 
We got sunset here in about 50 minutes. Maybe I need to come out here and spend the night out here. What do you guys think? Comment below. Do I need to come out and spend a night out on the ice? Sounds rather adventurous, but we'll see if we can pull anything out at the final bell, but we'll just have to come back out again tomorrow. Well, gang, nothing at the end of the day. I had something following it there. I was entertaining something for about 20 minutes. Kept kind of coming back every little bit. About every five minutes, all of a sudden, something would show up on the Vexlar, but never could get him to bite. Maybe it was just something small. Let's get back to the hotel. Now let's jump in that hot tub. I could sure go for an unthawing right now. And maybe some of those cookies at eight o'clock. Well, guys, I got my cookie. Just like grandma used to make. That's a good chocolate chip cookie. Scored some milk too. I once worked with a guy at a hotel that he didn't drink milk because he didn't like the idea of it turning sour in his stomach. He didn't think it tasted bad. He didn't mind it. He just didn't like the idea of milk turning sour in his stomach, so he just never drank it. I thought that was really weird. Especially since everything that goes into your stomach is gonna turn bad. So, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so the original plan was to go and thaw in the hot tub. However, uh, upon closer examination, there are like four or five other people in the hot tub. And while I normally enjoy taking a bath with four or five random people, I just really wasn't feeling it today. So I opted for the next best thing, which is my own private tub here in the bathroom. Not too shabby. I tried to frou-frou it up a little bit. I like put some shampoo in there to try to make bubbles and stuff like that. But uh, obviously that was kind of a massive fail. So anyway, I'm gonna hop in here unthaw then we're gonna get ready for tomorrow because i've got another long day on the hard deck hopefully with a little bit more success in the purge department so catch you after the tub <laughs> i'm working on my second powerade i've also had a bottle of water and a lemonade oh okay i'm done that's enough for me all right see you in the morning okay that wasn't quite the it was supposed to go completely dark and then that was how we were gonna cut the scene so let's try it again okay come on Seriously? Let's try it again. There we go. See you guys in the morning. Peanut butter and hot syrup on my waffles. That's really good. I'm really surprised by how not cold it is. It looks like it would be frigid out here, but it actually doesn't feel that bad. Maybe I'm just used to the cold. I'm torn. There are two spots I could go that look good. I'm cross-referencing the depth with each spot to kind of figure out what I want to do here. I hate trying to refold maps. They like, oh, this is dumb. Oh, hey, I got it. <laughs> Sucker. All right, let's go. All right, guys, look at this. Super foggy this morning. I've got a gentleman right in front of me. I actually, when I first pulled up, he was, he only has two wheel drive and his truck had slid down an embankment. So I pulled up and actually pulled him out. So after towing him out, he gave me a few tips on fishing this area. It was funny because actually a couple of the places he was pointing out to me, this is actually where I'm going that I found on my map. So I figure we're heading in the right direction. There we go, first one set. Ugh. All right, Vexlar is on. We've got our little orange grub. Yes, we might already be marking fish. Oh yeah, 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 he's following it up. Well, that's a good sign. Oh, just went back down to the bottom. Could be small ones, but we'll see. Yeah, there's a fish down there. It's gone now, but we dropped in and bam, already marked something. Okay, so it is now lunchtime and we still have not caught anything. I tried out a little deeper. I was in about the 20 foot range and just did not catch anything. I had a couple of small, really small bites. Had a lot of fish following on my Vexlar, um, but I think it's just all small fish. So I've actually moved back in. 
kind of a point right here. Also have the mini motel on ice. Uh, that's set back up. We're gonna be jigging inside. I am gonna cook that trout up though that we caught yesterday, so the day's not a complete loss. Eat some fresh fish out here on the ice and uh, keep our fingers crossed that something bites. Okay, since we aren't getting anything, we're at least gonna eat good today. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a little butter action there. Frozen butter action, holy McNuggets. So I kind of just decided since I'm sitting in here eating, we're not catching anything. I'm gonna drop my fifth and final line down. You can have up to five lines in the ice in Idaho. I got a little bit of that trout belly meat on a jig head. We're just gonna explore all avenues at this point. Yeah, look at that. Go ahead and take some trout. Start with that piece. Oh yeah, look at that. Dig back into our goodie bag here. You know, I think on this one, I'm gonna just do some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Simple, but delicious. A little flippity flip. Oh yeah. Little seasoning on this side as well. That's looking about done. Dunions. Oh yeah. Our first piece of fish. Mmm. Smells delish. Let's do another piece on here. Let's throw this guy on. I want to do, let's see, what do I got, what do I got? Let's do a little salt and vinegar. This is surprisingly good on fish. I mo mainly had this for like, uh, my when I make like french fries and stuff like that. Salt and vinegar on the fish though. Delicious! Oh. Whew. There you go. Fresh trout. Well, I caught it yesterday. It's been on the ice though, literally. Mm. Oh, I needed that. I'm feeling pretty low. Not having caught anything all day. Fish might not be biting right now, but at least we're eating good. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. <sighs> For something with a little kick. Get a good piece. Look at that. Oh, piping hot. I kind of want to come out here and spend the night on the ice. Like, not even sleep necessarily, just fish all night. I wonder if the fishing would be any different. Like, are the perch more active at night, maybe? Are they feeding more? Maybe somebody who perch fishes more than I do knows. I wonder if it'd be worth coming out and doing like 24 hours on the ice. Straight. I'll have to think on that. That sounds like fun. Well, guys, I cannot tell you how much my mood has improved. It, it's incredible. I did not realize how hungry I was and I was getting pretty grumpy. And I am a grumpy hungry person, like major league. But man, my mood is improved. Like I feel confident now. I'm all like, I don't know. Oh, got him, we got one. What are, ah, yeah, we got him. Look at that. Look, eat a little food. And we catch a fish. Well, we haven't caught him yet. What do we got? Oh, I think we got a perch. I think we got a perch. Come on. I think it's a perch. No, what is this? What in the world? What the? Guys! I think I just caught a salmon. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this! What is that? Are you kidding me? Look, it's got a big old gash out of the side of him. What in the world? That's a salmon, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha! Guys, we eat some lunch and we catch a some kind of salmon thing. We gotta look this up. We gotta look this up. Guys, it's a kokanee! I caught a kokanee salmon! That's a first for me! What? Okay guys, so I happen to hear um, there are uh, uh, some kind of old timers actually just drove by the tent. And I went out and asked them and I said, hey, what, is there a size limit or anything on kokanee? And they said, no, they're delicious to eat. You can keep them. They're just part of your trout limit for the day. So we're going to keep them. I am definitely going to try, try a little kokanee today. Look at that. First time on my channel. First time for me. Finally, we caught something. Right after lunch too. That feels really good. All right. Heading towards supper time. Look at that. That is just a gorgeous view. Wow. 
Just about doesn't get any prettier than that right there. All right. I never cleaned a kokanee before. Let's see here. He's dead, by the way. I'm gonna just try filleting him like you would kind of any other fish. There we go, got some meat there. A little bit more difficult to fillet because it's really flat. And that one's only about 12 and a half inches, so he wasn't huge. But uh, we're definitely gonna try some kokanee fillets today. Now for this special occasion, I get out my Himalayan pink rock salt. We're also gonna do our organic black pepper. Actually, you know what? No, 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 we're not because I was gonna do organic cracked black pepper, but I want a little lemon in there. So we're gonna do a little lemon pepper. We're gonna try to go kind of simple. We'll start by just laying that right in there. We got a few nice pieces here. I tried to, I kind of had to try to cut it up a little bit finely so I can fit it into my small skillet. A little Himalayan pink rock salt and then our lemon pepper sprinkle dinkled lightly over. Now we'll let that cook on that side. It's fairly thin meat, so it won't take long to cook. We'll flip it, lightly season the other side, and then try a little kokanee for the first time. All right, guys. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's fallen off the bone. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other filet on as well. I think on this one, we're gonna do some salt. We're gonna do a garlic and herb seasoning. I love that garlic and herb seasoning. And I know that's always a winner on trout. Oh, it smells really good. Let's say a quick prayer. Thank the Lord for our day. Good two days here. Fresh salmon right out here on the reservoir. I did not expect to catch this. I didn't even know this was in here. Here we go. Fresh kokanee for the very first time. Oh man, that's good. It's got the texture of trout. But it's got a flavor all to its own. I don't even know how to describe it. All right, round two. With the roasted garlic and herb seasoning. I almost feel like the meat's more tender. It's, it's like more tender than a rainbow. Oh man, I'm sad. That's like my last bite right here. Oh man, what a treat. What a treat. Dang it, that was good. Man. Ugh. Oh my goodness. It looks like, yep, I'm officially the last person on this end of the reservoir out on the ice. Call me champ. <laughs> so it wasn't like the hottest bite ever. In fact, it was pretty slow. I mean, what do we end up getting? Five fish in a total of two days of fishing. But I mean, for my first time solo ice fishing, I'm pretty happy. That kokanee really was just the icing on the cake. That, that, was, that was really cool. And it tasted delicious too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the last couple of days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.